Children's Education Act. The IDEA is a policy that interests me the most because I'm an adapted physical education teacher. And there's three laws that protect individuals with disabilities. They are the ADA, Public Law 94-142, and IDEA. An individual education program is designed for students with disabilities that consist of academic goals and objectives in the least restrictive environment. There's accommodations and modifications for all students with disabilities and teams, including special education teachers and administrators are in this process. Adapted physical education is important because individuals with disabilities have deficits in psychomotor skills. So it's important that physical education teachers are involved, but most of them are not. It leaves decisions related to physical and motor development to less qualified individuals, which is not a good thing. Section 504, uh, protects individuals who are not qualified under IDEA. This includes but is not limited to learning, hearing, speaking, walking, or other physical limitations. So if a student cannot play a sport because of their disability, it's a, uh, a part of the program would be to find an adapted program for them. Public Law 105.17 states that individuals with disabilities perform a lower motor development level than their typical functioning peers so that a student may qualify for adaptive physical education even if they have higher functioning dis uh, psychomotor skills. This is important to note because not all individuals with disabilities will qualify for adaptive physical education. And so we want to make sure that students who score two standard deviations below the norm reference get adapted PE. And so this can be different depending on what they're qualified for. We want to make sure that they're in the least restrictive environment. Uh, there's 10 levels, and they illustrate how dis, um, disabled students can receive different placements and supportive services. Uh, level 1 is a regular PE with just some modifications by the PE instructor. Um, this includes um, different equipment, maybe tricycles for students in wheelchairs and stuff like that. Um, level 2, we have a peer assistant, so a student has a mentor or a classmate that can help them out and give them a simple list of instructions. Level three, there's an adapted PE consultant that helps this uh, appear in the classroom. And level four, there's a peer assistant with an adapted PE consultant. So now they're working together to help um, the cause. So students and PE teacher have semi-regular problems with required modifications. Uh, Level five, there's a teacher and assistant involved. So if a student has regular problems, um, a teacher assistant can accompany them in the PE uh, classroom. PE teacher shares experience, responsibility, and specific teaching strategies with the teacher assistant. Level six, the teacher assistant with the adapted PE consultant. Now they work together to satisfy IEP goals. This can be achieved um, with both of them together. Part-time adapted PE, when there's a rotating PE, or adapted physical educator in the process, um, adapted PE intervenes only when needed and IEP objectives require the rotation. Level eight, example, student P PE teacher have considerable problems, so there needs to be a fixed adapted PE program involved for the student with IEP learning goals. And then level nine, there's a full-time adapted physical education teacher because students are not successfully participating in physical education who need it the most. And then full-time adapted PE would be for level 10. And this is for students that don't respond consistently to adapted physical education teacher. So now we have an assistant involved. And here are the references for my blog posting. Um, and I hope everybody enjoyed and learned something about the education and the ID. Yeah.